Welcome. God bless you so much. I know you are awake for God and you are ready to be blessed. I'm Bishop Peter Gatimo. I'm reaching out to you from Nairobi, Apostolic Faith Church, Bahati, Nairobi. The Lord is my shepherd. I will never lack. He is my shepherd and my strength. We want to share more about deliverance of families. And today, I'm doing part five. It will really help you as you follow on this series. And I would like us to see and to explore areas where we need to work on so that we can stop this attack. Last time we shared about seven ways. Let's proceed on now. A family can end up in some attack by allowing the spirit of slavery. Slavery. Slavery, devil who is a thief. And his people who are also agents of the devil. Systems that are evil can subject you to slavery and defeat until you never want to rise again. We have situations whereby whereby some families lack an individual who can strongly and in, with all boldness declare that this is evil. Slavery is evil. Yes, misuse is evil. Being subject to misuse is evil. Somebody who say, we will not continue this way again. The God we serve is God of deliverance. And therefore, slavery. Slavery, allowing slavery, or not resisting it. Giving yourself to some unique forces that subject you to slavery in the physical or spiritual world, that one can cause an attack. Another thing that brings attack and we need to be delivered from a lack of cover, lack of protection. A family that is open to any intruder, any idea, anybody who wants to come in, any attack, any insult, any demonic power, any power of evil. Family not having spiritual canopy. That's dangerous. I want to tell the truth. If you are a man of God and a woman of God in a family, let it be known by all witches and all evil people around that no one will be able to succeed. Every weapon formed against that family will not succeed because the father, the mother, the brother, the sister in that family is prayerful, so much awake for that family, anointed and releasing a cover on that family. I've seen it work, friends. I've seen it work. I have seen it work. Whereby we declare by the word of God that protection is important. Canopy, cover. Cover. Yes. Let our children, when they go out there, let it be known But that son and daughter is covered by the prayer of the mother or dad. Don't just leave family without cover of the blood of Christ, cover of faith, cover of prayer. Ah, uh, sometimes family can lack cover because of defilement or sin, creating room of fear, destroying confidence in a family, even before God, where, whereby people destroy because of defilement. People destroy confidence. Confidence. The Bible says in Hebrews 10 verse 35, do not lose your confidence for it has great reward. And that confidence is righteousness in our hearts. When you allow yourself to sin, when you lack self-control and you commit evil, you create room for fear. 
There's no confidence to stand before God. There's no power to rebuke or to stop evil or the devil. Yes, that results in lack of protection. Another thing that opens up family to attack is contradicting the promises of God. People who move and confess contrary to the word that comes from the mouth of God. People who live and confess contrary to what God has said. That is very, very true. Whereby you, you look into a family, the way they speak, they contradict the promise. They contradict the character of God. Sometimes you wonder, somebody claims to be in Christ, at the same time you claim to be at a cast or a demon. Somebody claims to be a woman and a man of God. The same mouth confess that you are under the devil. We need to have the right way. We need to not to contradict the character of God, the promise of God, and the mind of God. Let our confession, our feelings, our attitude agree with the promises of God, the character of God. Another thing that we need to overcome in families, if we are going to have deliverance, is Satanism in the families. This must be powerfully dealt with at the anointing. Yes. Yes. I tell you the truth, whenever I have faced sons and daughters, the other day I went out there to declare an altar of power, altar of the blood of Christ, deliverance in a family. And I was leading that family into prayer. I noticed three young men in that family were already initiated into Satanism. And devil was using them. And I tell you, under the anointing of God, I destroyed their powers. And I was able to declare a new altar in that family. And another day, I went up to a place where they called me to bless the family. And I found this young girl who was around, who sat almost next to me. And that girl disturbed us so much. She brought chaos in the meeting. And I, I couldn't understand. Why is this girl so noisy? Trying to detract people from the meeting. And, uh, and, I, and when we were praying, she tried to sneak out of the meeting. But I got held. I, held, I was able to get hold of, of her and commanded her to kneel down. Let me tell the truth. When I was praying, Powers of darkness manifested. And the girl agreed. He said to me, Pastor, I want to speak the truth. I am a satanic worshiper. And I was initiated by a fellow student in school. And she narrated how she was lured and initiated into several stages of evil. Until this time when I was praying, she openly confessed that he, she was to sacrifice her father. The powers of darkness were demanding for the blood of her father. And I thank God that God was delivered so much. Oh, the power of God was there. We need to be careful. And therefore, I want to charge you now, you member of that family, arise now and overcome. Arise now and overcome. I say, arise now and overcome. Overcome the doorways of attack. Remember, we have had several doorways. Rebelliousness. Overcome rebelliousness. Remember, overcome the unrepented sin in that family. Overcome 
the satanic foundations and altars in that family. Overcome and subdue the demonic powers of part of that family. Detect and discern some inherited weakness and wickedness that needs to be subdued by the anointing and the light of the Holy Ghost. Destroy the wrong faith being practiced in your family. Rise up and call the whole family into obedience. Yes, get that family from disobedience. Rise up and destroy laziness in your brothers and sisters. Let there be freedom from laziness. Rise up and bring people together so that people can have sense of loving each other instead of being selfish. Rise up and, and detect the wrong direction that your family took one time when your family at some point in life got lost and missed the direction. Lectify and with all sacrifice and strength restore the family. Destroy slavery. Resist it and establish your family on freedom and prosperity. I pray a lot fast Teach until the family has protection and cover. Yes, change the confession and attitude of your siblings. So that from now, they'll stop contradicting the character of God. They'll speak of how God is and their confession will agree with the word of God, promises of God, and the character of God. Call the family into prayer. The Bible says in Luke chapter 11, verse 21, 22, be strong than Satan. Pray, be anointed. Lay strategy. For you to be delivered, you need to create me to become stronger than the evil one. Go and attack. Don't leave Satan unattended. Attack him. Satan must be dealt with. The devil will not grow old. Or the devil will not stay on until one day he will leave you. The devil is masterless. He must be cast out. The Lord bless you so much. Destroy every weapon Satan is using around your family. Destroy it. Destroy it. Speak about it. Destroy it. Destroy it. Destroy it. Destroy it. Any weapon Satan is depending on that family must be destroyed by the word of God, by a praying person, by a very bold path, a father or mother who want to grow, having family free from attacks of the devil and from curses. I want to declare a prayer. Father, by your word, I now, as I start before you, Declare cleansing and deliverance of that family. By the word of God, I release the blood of Christ to take over and to establish a new altar in that brother, that sister, and that family. From today, I decree that that family comes back to the right way. I rebuke disobedience, rebelliousness, and command these people to obey God. And to follow him. Father, deliver families. In Christ we pray and believe. Amen.